please stand. Christ and the love of the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to all of you. Bienvenidos a todos ustedes. We are celebrating the feast of the Immaculate, Immaculate Conception of our Blessed Mother. Estamos celebrando la Immaculada Concepción de nuestra Virgen María. Bienvenidos a todos ustedes que están participando en sus hogares. We welcome also those of you who are participating in your homes as we celebrate this beautiful solemnity of our Blessed Mother, whom God has prepared to be the mother of our Savior, the pure tabernacle of Jesus, the Word of God. Let us now prepare ourselves for this celebration by first acknowledging our sins, asking God's mercy and forgiveness. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. 
we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserve her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord and his song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break in the sing, sing praise. Sing to the Lord and his song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia. 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 
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. En aquel tiempo, el ángel Gabriel fue enviado por Dios a una ciudad de Galilea llamada Nazaret, a una virgen desposada con un hombre llamado José, de la casa de David. El nombre de la virgen era María. El ángel, entrando en su presencia, dijo, Alégrate, llena de gracia, el Señor está contigo. Ella se turbó grandemente ante estas palabras y se preguntaba qué saludo era aquel. El ángel le dijo, no temas María, porque has encontrado gracia ante Dios. Concebirás en tu vientre y darás a luz un hijo y le pondrás por nombre Jesús. Será grande, se llamará a Hijo del Altísimo, el Señor Dios, le dará el trono de David, su padre. Reinará sobre la casa de Jacob para siempre, y su reino no tendrá fin. Y María dijo al ángel, ¿cómo será eso? Pues no conozco varón. El ángel le contestó, el Espíritu Santo vendrá sobre ti y la fuerza del Altísimo te cubrirá con su sombra. Por eso el santo que va a nacer será llamado Hijo de Dios. También tu pariente Isabel ha concebido un hijo en su vejez y ya está de seis meses la que llamaban estéril, porque para Dios nada hay imposible. María contestó, He aquí la esclava del Señor, hágase en mí según tu palabra. Y el ángel se retiró. Palabra del Señor.
the gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate this beautiful feast of our Blessed Mother, the Immaculate Conception. When the Blessed Mother appeared to uh, Bernadette in France, in Lourdes, she introduced himself, I am the Immaculate Conception. Hoy celebramos la, uh, la fiesta de Nuestra Virgen María como la Inmaculada Concepción. Cuando Nuestra Virgen uh, ha aparecido uh, a Bernadette en Lourdes, Francia, ella le presentó a Bernadette, yo soy la Inmaculada Concepción. Our celebration today reminds us that God prepared Mary even before she was born to be the carrier, the tabernacle of His Son, the Word of God. Nuestra celebración nos recuerda que Dios Padre ha preparado a María como el tabernáculo de su Hijo antes de, de nacer nuestra Virgen en su concepción Dios le ha preparado a María so God has prepared Mary even before she was born at the moment of her conception and this event reminds us why as Catholics we believe, do not believe in abortion because God has planned for each one of us for Mary for each baby even in their womb God has already a plan for each one of us in our lives esta celebración nos recuerda que como católicos no Uh, creemos en aborto porque Dios ya tiene plan para todos nosotros para María antes de nacer en su momento de concepción y Dios tiene plan para todos nosotros en el momento de nuestra concepción por eso para Dios los bebés aportados ellos uh, Dios ya tiene plan para ellos so God already has a plan for all the aborted babies in their womb that's why we do not believe as Catholics in abortion today we are also reminded that God is always at work in our lives without us knowing it Mary didn't know that he She was going to be the mother of our Savior. And the people, you know, Saint Anne, Saint Joachim, the parents of uh, Mary, didn't know what God's plan was, you know, even before Mary was born. But God was already working and planning our salvation. And that gives us hope that in spite of our pandemic reality, even though we might not know it or we might not realize it, God is all already working you know, behind the scene, our salvation, our cure, our deliverance. And that give, should give us hope. Esta celebración nos recuerda también que Dios está trabajando uh, por nuestra salvación. Uh, sin nuestro conocimiento como María uh, no sabía como Ana y uh, uh, Joaquín uh, los papás de María ellos no sabían el plan de Dios para María uh, pero Dios está trabajando uh, uh, sin nuestro conocimiento 
nuestra salvación. Por eso, hermanos, hermanas, en esta realidad de pandemia, uh, esto nos da esperanza que si nuestro conocimiento, Dios está trabajando nuestra salvación, nuestra uh, curación, nuestra sanación, sin uh, saber. Uh, Dios está siempre uh, uh, planeando nuestra salvación. And today, as we celebrate this feast, our call is to imitate Mary. Mary, after she was born and throughout her whole life, preserved her purity, her holiness, so that when the time came, the angel came to her to ask her if she would be the mother of God. And Mary was ready, was ready to say yes. And that's our call as well, that we need to imitate Mary to prepare ourselves by our lives of holiness and purity and charity so that we could always say yes to Jesus to be born in our lives. Mary, Maria, después de nacer, uh, había preparado a sí mismo para ser la madre de Dios, con su pureza, con su santidad. Por eso cuando el ángel uh, vino uh, para preguntarle a María uh, ser la madre de Dios, María uh, estaba lista a decir sí. Hágase en mí según uh, tu palabra. Por eso, como María, tenemos que prepararnos también con vida de santidad, de caridad, de amor, de pureza, para decir sí al Señor también. Y para que el Señor Jesús renazca en nuestra vida. As we wait with longing for the coming of our Savior, Jesus, dear brothers and sisters, let us, with renewed devotion, beseech His mercy, that as He came into the world to bring the good news to the poor and heal the contrite of heart, so in our own time also He may bring salvation to all in need. This Mass is being offered for all people, for all clergy and religious who have consecrated their lives to Christ. May God bless them and help them bear much fruit in their service to his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, may the Lord guide them in governing with humility and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who suffer, mind, body, or spirit, may they experience God's healing touch today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this community, may the grace of the Holy Spirit continue to help us say yes to God's plan for our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they enter fully into God's loving and eternal presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of the special petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever living God, who brings salvation to all and desire that no one should perish, 
hear the prayers of your people and grant that the force of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and your church rejoice in tranquility and devotion to Christ our Lord. Amen. We're going to have a collection as uh, we celebrate this Holy Day of Obligation. And so please be generous. And while we're doing that, we will pray, Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer, O Lord. On the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of Mary, the Immaculate Conception. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered to one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope Jose, our Archbishop, our auxiliary bishops and all priests and deacons. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her faithful spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace.
Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worried that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be. of you who are participating in your homes, I invite you to make your spiritual communion this time, praying the spiritual communion prayer, and just invite our Lord Jesus to come into your heart, mind, and soul, and for the intercession of our Blessed Mother, and just talk to Him from your heart. Communion Antiphon. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Mary, for from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserve Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception, through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time I invite you to just uh, put down your chairs. Tonight we have also the uh, Mass of the Immaculate Conception in Vietnamese at 6 p.m. Uh, tonight. So that will be in Vietnamese our uh, Immaculate Conception Mass at 6 p.m. And also we are continuing our Novena for Our Lady of Guadalupe at 7 p.m. here in the Shrine uh, of Alavang uh, Ario. From 7 to uh, 8, we pray the rosary in different languages. And uh, after that, there's like a spiritual talk 
Estamos haciendo nuestro novenario uh, para nuestra Virgen de Guadalupe cada noche hasta el 11 de noviembre, de diciembre, aquí en el patio de la van A las 7 uh, empezamos con el rosario seguido por una plática espiritual. And so, uh, we invite you, if you are able to join us uh, through Facebook, it will be live stream, you know, the, ros the rosary. Estamos publicando en vivo el rosario por Facebook. And uh, Saturday, we have the Mass here at 8 for Our Lady Guadalupe. Of course, it's limited to 60 people. Este sábado, vamos a tener la misa para la Virgen de Guadalupe aquí limitado por uh, 60 personas. It's at 8. Será a las 8. 8 in the morning. And uh, next week, uh, we're planning to have confession not only on Friday, but next week we're planning to have confession Monday from 5 to 6. Uh, Wednesday, 5 to 6. Then uh, Friday, from 4 to 6.30 our confessions to prepare ourselves for Christmas. La próxima semana vamos a hacer nuestras conf tener confesiones para preparar uh, nos para la Navidad. Lunes uh, 5 a 6 uh, miércoles a las 5 a 6 p.m. y viernes a las 4 a 6 y media p.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nourish and strengthened by the Mass, let's go in peace to love and glorify God with our lives. strong.